Hey friends, let's create our own emojis with Viv Ovis. Today we're gonna create an emoji builder app in App Lab in Code.org. I'll run it and show y'all how our output is going to be. Let's start. So we'll already have set our eyes. It will be a technical eye, and then when y'all click on your mask, y'all can choose any mask. And then your face, like what kind of emoji you want, a sad one or a happy one. And then you can choose your glasses. I've chosen round glasses. When I go on, my emoji is sad with his eyes and he's wearing glasses. Now what happens if we don't choose glasses? It's gonna be the same output. And happy mouth. So I will choose the happy mouth. And here I've created my emoji. So friends, let's get started creating our app. On top you get this create button over there. You click on it and then you get options of apps you can use. We'll use App Lab for this one. So I click and my App Lab is open. In the start, I'll rename my project to Emoji Builder App. Okay, so I have renamed it to Emoji Builder. Now you'll click on the save button over here and your app will get saved. Now you go on to the design. Now in the design you all will design the kind of designing that you all want for your app. You can set an image at the back or you can set a color. I'll go on choose a color. So here I've chosen my color to green and I will give a text. Now here I can choose what kind of thing do I want to use. I would like to use polar. So I have used polar over here. And here I'll write the name of my app emoji builder. So let me write it. For writing it, I'll have to go to the text and write emoji builder. Now the text uh, is quite small. So over here, I will go on font size and set it to bigger. Now I can set the font family. You can choose Georgia, you can choose Time. It's up to y'all which one y'all want to choose. I'll go on with Lucida console. That looks good to me. So I have set my font and my title over here. Now I'll set the font size to bigger if I would like it better. Okay. So now we gotta set our radio buttons small circles but better than putting radio buttons it's to put check boxes because you can choose many check boxes and in radio buttons like the thing goes and then it becomes a little like what happened so i'll put this but before putting that i have to put the title that what is this so i'll set the background color to black the text color to this is perfect I'll just set it to face or the mask. I can write one of those and then the radio buttons. Then I'll put an image over here which is going to be the image of the radio button. So I'll click on choose, I'll click on upload file and here I have all my images. So I can upload all my images straight away. So I've uploaded my eye, I'll upload all my images, so I have clicked on unnamed, I will just pick up all of these and upload them over here, one by one, so that it gets uploaded and we can choose it quickly whenever we need them. Okay, so I've taken my images. Now which one do we take first? I think we shall take the pink one. So I've taken my pink mask over here. 
I gotta do the same for 3 so I'll click on the checkbox and I'll duplicate it 3 times. I click on the duplicate button and it gets duplicated. So I will duplicate the image also 3 times. 1, 2 and 3. So I've got 3 images and 3 radio buttons. Now I'll choose the image for each of them. So I've chosen my images. All my images. So here we're done with the mask. Next we gotta do the eyes. Now what kind of eyes do you all want? Circular eyes or downward facing eyes. So it's the same just the black color and you write over your eyes. Okay, so we've taken eyes in the mask. So I've taken both of them and now I need to take two more checkboxes as I have taken two images of eyes. One and two. It's the same, I'll just put images of my eyes. I'll add an image and and we gotta set this width to a tiny width because eyes aren't that big. I'll choose my eyes one, duplicate the same and then I will choose another eye. So I've got my eyes. Now we gotta choose the mouth. So in the so in the same way I will do it for my mouth. I will add a checkbox over here after putting another label text right over here. And to create it more with space, I will just shift this down so it looks better and the space looks filled. And so the eyes are good. Now I gotta set the background color of this to black as we expect for all black. Yes. And now we'll write the text over here to mouth. And then uh, same radio button one, radio button two, duplicate, duplicate. And then I'll show the image of my mouth over here. And upload a save two images of my mouth also. And so then I will get images of my mouth. Two mouth, two eyes, and three faces. So my mouth number one and two need to be uploaded. Mouth and mouth. So I'll do this and upload them one by one. And it gets uploaded. So I've uploaded both my images. I will choose my images now. So my mouth number one and my mouth number two. Yeah, so I've got my mouth. Now, how will our user go to the next screen? So we don't have to upload an image of an arrow facing towards the side because in code.org app lab, we already have an image. In the icons, you go, so you get this arrow. To go to the next page, so you can choose the arrow and your icon is ready. So we're done with screen 1 design. Now the only thing left to rename screen 1 is screen underscore home. So we've renamed it. Now we gotta create the screen in which our output will be visible. So we gotta go to new screen and over here we gotta set the background color to fully white. We'll choose orange over here. We'll add one image as big as the whole screen. Then two more images just like this. No, one more image like this. 
uh, this will be the eyes and another image for the mouth so we've got our images ready now our designing for the first and second screen is done now we'll have to go on to the coding the coding is quite easy so let's begin without wasting any time we'll go to the ui controls and get an on event out over here when button one click means when this button is gonna be clicked we will have to get the property means set property like if the pink one is clicked checkbox one is clicked then set image we will set image of the other image in the next screen to our image like if they click on this checkbox this will get ticked and screen to image will get an output so we just gotta go here and we get an option of image over here and then here you can choose your image here you'll get the url of the code that i was using you will click you'll get an option of upload file and you all can upload it but i'm getting this because like, i'm higher so i get this but you all will get the url then I will have to duplicate the set property the same way for all copy I will have to do on event I'll have to copy this whole on event block I'll paste it over here I'll paste my on event thing over here I'll copy and then I'll paste it over here and instead of checkbox 1 I will choose checkbox 2 and the same way I got to do for all till checkbox ends over here and then we're done with our coding and design so if I run and I choose this and this and this and I click on this button I'll go to the screen where I get my output so thanks friends for watching this video. See you in the next video. Bye bye.